Hello viewers. Welcome to yet another episode where we were discussing AMD or age related macular degeneration with Dr. Ashutosh. Basically, your risk for age-related macular degeneration increases as you get older. Uh, the main risk factors for AMD are age above the uh, age over 50 years, exposure to ultraviolet rays. These are non-modifiable risk factors. Smoking and tobacco consumption in any form is the main modifiable risk factor for AMD. Also, people of Caucasian origin and those who have family history of AMD are also at an increased risk. Diabetes and hypertension, like you asked, can also cause damage to the retina, which we call diabetic retinopathy and hypertensive retinopathy, uh, respectively. Although they do not have a direct impact on the progression of AMD, it's important to keep your blood pressure and sugar levels under control to maintain a healthy retina. So otherwise, you would have uh, coexisting diseases. You would have AMD as well. And then uh, to add on to that, you'll have diabetes and hypertension affecting your retina as well. So if uh, you are at risk for AMD because of your age, that is more than 50 years, family history of AMD or any other factors, it's important to get regular eye exams. Uh, like I said, early AMD may not have any symptoms. So patients with the above risk factors should not wait for their vision to go down before getting a retina checkup. Before that, let me uh, come down to how we diagnose AMD before we move on to the treatment part. So diagnosis of AMD is made by a comprehensive dilated retina examination. Uh, the examination is simple and painless. Your doctor will give you some eye drops to dilate or widen your pupil and on clinical examination of the retina uh, by indirect ophthalmoscopy, a diagnosis of a clinical diagnosis of age related macular degeneration can be made. Your doctor may also recommend doing a test called an optical coherence tomography or an OCT. This test lets us examine all 10 layers of the retina at a microscopic level and get more information about the disease and how to proceed with treatment. So OCT is also a quick and non-invasive test in which photographs of your retina are taken. Uh, so the test is harmless to the patient. OCT angiography is another newer and non-invasive test which is now increasingly being used by retina specialists since the last two years for staging of age-related macular degeneration. Uh, fundus fluorescein angiography, uh, it's a slightly invasive test and now it's rarely used for AMD diagnosis, but it may or may not be required as per your retina doctor's recommendation. So this is how we diagnose and stage AMD. Now let us move on to the uh, treatment part. So for treatment, AMD is divided into two stages, uh, the early form of AMD and late form of AMD. In the early or the dry stages, as we call it, antioxidant tablets are prescribed to slow down the progression of the disease. The patient is asked to do home monitoring to detect progression to the late stage by a chart called the Ansler chart. You can easily download this chart via the internet also, or you can ask your retina doctor to give it to you. Also, the patient is asked to come for regular follow-ups because the late stages need active treatment. So in late or wet AMD, there can be bleeding underneath the retina due to formation of CNVM or parodial neovascular membrane as we call it. In this stage of the disease where there is CNVM formation, uh, the gold standard of treatment is intravitreal anti vegf agents. These drugs are given via intravitreal injections into the eye and are sometimes needed at monthly intervals. So basically this is where the pathology or the disease is. So via a very small 30 gauge needle, uh, the injection is put into the eye and it remains in the vitreous cavity for one month. So the effect of the, these uh, medicines lasts for a month. The procedure for intravitreal injections in India is done in the operation theater. Uh, versus in the West, sometimes it's done as an office procedure in the OPD. It's a quick, painless and bloodless procedure. Usually monthly injections are needed in the first few months of starting therapy for inactivating the disease process. Thereafter, 
uh, after receiving these initial injections the frequency and the burden of injections on the patient reduces significantly so uh, it's important for patients to follow up regularly to detect any reactivation of the late stage after initial injections so that the best outcomes can be achieved because untreated late amd can lead to irreversible loss of central vision other modalities apart from anti vagal agents are laser photocoagulation which is very rarely used nowadays photodynamic therapy is another sort of laser which is sometimes used in select cases of cnvm or late stages 